Hello everyone. As we understand different countries, how we can search the patents, particularly we understand how we can search Indian patent, US patent, and widely searched uh, that space net for European patents, how we can search all we understand in detail from Dr. Priyanka Grohl, ma'am. So today he is with us, she is with us, and she will teach us WIPO patent database or patent school. So uh, welcome to uh, uh, Dr. Thank Priyanka Grohl, ma'am. So over to Dr. Priyanka Grohl. Thank you, Dr. Appen. So today we will see about the WIPO patent database. First, uh, we will know about that what is a WIPO. WIPO is a World Intellectual Property Organization. We can say all the patent is governed. The world's patent is governed by this, you can say the organizations. And this organization provides us a route to file the patent application in multiple countries. And that route for filing a multiple country is called the PCT route. So to search this, PCT means the patent cooperation treaty. And by filing a single application, we'll have the, you can say the, uh, we'll see that multiple patent channels, uh, channels will be av av applicable or available in the multiple countries. So the one applications and the channels for different countries. This route is called the PCT route. So to search this PCT applications along with the other countries, we can see the patent applications or worldwide data through WIPO is called the patent scope, okay? It is again, a, we can say a free database. So first we in the Google, we go for the patent scope. And click over it. We are getting the patent scope. And so we have to we'll search only the patent scope. scope. Yes, we have to search only the patent scope. So we are getting this, you can say the patent scope window is open here. About that, some points are mentioned that the patent scope database provides access to what we can access. Publish international because we are going to file a multi-country, um, multi-route or multi multiple applications. Through one application, so we can see the international PCT applications, their data, patent documents from the participating national and regional offices, even some non-patent literature relevant to the patent applications we have we are filing or relevant to that the non-patent literature is also available through this one. So those are willing to file their PCT applications so they can get this, so you can say the database, the relevant information about their invention at the bottom in this you can see the blue uh, tab will access patent scope is mentioned so we'll click over here and rest we can see that some literature about this is also mentioned here in the form of the pdf or in the form of the question answer is provided in this site so we'll go for the access patent scope and we'll see here there's a simple search option is displayed over here it is like just all this field Front page, this is a search item. This is a simple search option is displayed over. So using this patent scope, we can search 110 million patent documents, including 4.6 million published international PCT documents will be displayed by this, you can say the patent scope database. So again, here in this, uh, you can see the field or the front page, they are the mentioned. Any field, or we can go for full text, we can go for the ID number, we can go for the classification number, we can go for the names only and the publication date. Whatever the field we'll select, we'll get the information according to it, okay? We'll just go for the front page or we can go for the any field. We'll select over here and in the search item, what do we type here? What do I type? Is anything graphene. that graphene. we want. Okay, the way we have seen only the graphene, no nanoparticle, only the graphene or we, we just write the Graphene and we go for the search. You will see here how many near about 1,90,662 results are displayed over here. We'll see these. Okay. Now, as per our, you can say the convenience, we can select how many results we want in a per page. This could be 10, 15, 100, 200, whatever this, right? Then in the view, 
there is a mention all simple all plus images images multiple columns what do we want we just want first we want to select the relevant so we can go for the simple we can go for the double all whatever the requirement is there we can select from here office offices here in the you can see the over uh, the just below the uh, you can say the window for the search window where the results are mentioned here like offices and at just beside this we mention the all which particular office databases or the applications we want to search so here we can select that the refine we can refine our options offices either we are selecting the all or we can select from here that only we want the pct applications or we want the applications only from you can say the african countries we want from you can say the americans we want from the only the asian european so as per we just want to a particular specific country wise the you can say the patent search so as per our need we can select it here instead of all i am just going for i am interested in the pct applications so i will select yes, over so i think from the uh, the viewer those who are uh, interested for pct as already you already discuss on that uh, on the introduction lecture the meaning mm -hmm. of a pct file like in if you can search on if you can publish only patent in a, in a particular country then either mm -hmm. it can be a indian patent or it can be a us patent or different uh, any other countries also you can make the patent but if you want to make one patent with a, one country but you want to connect this with the different countries then we have to make the pct file so that you can yes. publish a patent in india also but it will be also eligible for it will be also consider in also us and other countries based on your pct right. route right so right it will right. be very helpful though like in uh, like, uh, like in a cost effective process you can one patent yes. can be also considered in other countries if they will right. follow this pct route because i said that the patent is a territorial right in india we can just uh, they will have the rights over in our our territory but we want that the application of our invention in some other countries so instead of approaching the other countries in a in a single single way instead of that we can approach a single applications for multiple channels multiple. or multiple countries yes. that is called the pct route okay so very cost effective and it is giving us advantage for uh, you can say the publish in a in a time period or uh, will 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 be helpful for the inventors to uh, to get the benefit of their invention worldwide in a different countries okay so i was telling you that uh, if you are just interested in so searching the pct applications so we can refine our search instead of all we'll take over the pct and then we search over here we click onto the search now we can see that the results are just the 24321 this we are getting only the pct applications okay so only the pct applications will be uh, will be displayed over uh, in our window and as per our you can say by uh reading all these documents what are the relevant for us we can further refine our you can see the search search options here in the you can see the top also that the search is mentioned it is mentioned the simple search it is mentioned the advanced search it is mentioned the field combinations here it is mentioned the cross lingual expansion uh, uh, expansions and then there is a chemical compound uh, uh, chemical compounds can also be searched from this you can see the uh, patent scope document if we have a particular site we go for the login uh, login and uh, for this one so these this is a way that first we are selecting the simple search and when we are be able to search we will be able to read you can say this type of uh, simple patent documents and we can go for the advanced search specific search options by you can say the selecting the combinations which is provided in a different tabs along with that there is a browser browse this is browse by week that means we want that weekly what are the documents are uh, displaying by the you can see this patent data scope we just want to the last one week we just want to last 15 days as because when we go for a simple search options the number of results are displaying with you can see the number of so as per we are just interested in the last 7 days or you can see the last 15 days so we can go for the selecting the data from this one then here we have the tool options that is wipo translate wipo perl here we will have some linguistic options also translate instead of that we can uh, translate another language also that there are many you can see the translations uh, that uh, will copy over here and which, which particular language you want we can translate over into you will see that the 
Korean, Chinese, Korean to Japanese. Then the different rules for the translation is also mentioned here instead of the English part. Then here in this tool options, we'll, we'll go for, uh, we, as per the need, we'll select it. And there is a setting options. Then how we want that the list length, 10, 15, then the results, views, simple, it is we want a double, all with the images, whatever the way we want our information be displayed, you know, you can say you're in, you're in your windows, we can select from these all the tabs which is provided over here. So again, we can see that uh, this is the WIPO site and here in the WIPO, we can go for the search for uh, patent uh, is, is scope. We'll go for this patent scope. We can go into it. We can go for the access patent scope. Here in this access patent scope, we'll have this simple search window will be opened here. And with this simple open search here, whatever the field is required, we can type over here and the relevant results will be displayed over here. So this is the WIPO uh, patent scope search window. Uh, yes, ma'am. It will be also very helpful uh, uh, to everyone. Uh, because that uh, they can also understand that uh, if they are like other countries, whether similar type of data available or not, or if uh, that patent is also available, then how many countries uh, uh, that was already available in how many countries, so that also they can able to get the information very easily uh, with yes. this, this with these uh, search options. Uh, so yes. it will be very helpful. Uh, to everyone. Uh, so thank you very much, ma'am. So uh, it will be very helpful. So uh, next we will understand from a different uh, different search uh, to a different country that how we can search uh, for different country and also what are the opportunities available on this. So all we, we will understand one by one. Um, uh, so thank you very much, ma'am, for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Appan. Thank you, Mom.